dramatic. Play us dramatic music. <laughs> I love the music. It smells really great in here. Okay, now. guys. Now that they're cooked enough and they're going to keep cooking yeah, in the sauce, we're going to add two cans of enchilada oh, sauce. Oh, I love enchilada sauce. And let me tell you what else I love. Right. Green chili enchilada sauce. Oh, I love it. Don't ya? Let me add some oh, of this. Oh, this looks so great. <gasps> oh, now you're talking. Now, yeah. Kelly brought up a very good point. Yeah. We're adding half a cup of uh, chicken broth, <laughs> not beef broth. I just thought it was interesting. There okay. you go. All right. There we go. We're also going to add in, okay, Kelly, do you have that plate? I do. Can you get two of these? Thank, Thank you. Clint you. just brought me water because um, he knows that my mouth is on fire a little bit. There you go. All right, so, so two, just two of these. Two of those and mince them. We're going to add them. And I'm going to kind of stir this a little bit. Can I use your uh, oh, yeah. tongs? Oh, the tongs? I'm yeah. just going to move it around a little bit in the sauce. Yeah, I think this is going to be better. This will be just all in the sauce. That sauce, though, is going to be amazing. Yeah, and you know, these are really squishy. These are... I mean, <laughs> <laughs> how do you like that word for description? I love it. They're squishy. Now, in culinary uh, terms, how would you describe that, Kelly? Uh, squishy. Okay. They're very squishy. Now, okay. is it time to add, add these? Add them. Add them. Right. So, should I... Here, look. I'm going to put a few here, mm -hmm. a few here, mm -hmm. just but around. You know, I kind of want more of, though. Is what? it possible to grab a little oh, thing of sauce? sauce and just throw it okay. in there? So, let me see if I can get some of the sauce out. Because I feel like that sauce and the smell of that adobo sauce is amazing. All right, let me, here's what I want to do. I'm going to put this back on and try to squish the sauce out. <laughs> They're all perfect. That's working. Yeah. That is working. All right, that's probably going to be enough because um, we were told maybe the sauce is hotter than the... Yes, producer Jake, uh, my nose is running, by the way, now. Oh, boy, this may be too much, guys. <laughs> Kelly's mouth I is may have been burning it for myself. <laughs> I don't know how much sauce to add. I don't know about Chipotle Kelly peppers. Kelly is going to hate oh, this. I'm going to hate it, probably. Kelly, when you make this at home, you can skip the adobo sauce. I may, or the jalapenos. I'm not sure. OK, here we go. Okay, you can keep messing okay. with that if you want. And I'm going to make sure we've added it. So we added the enchilada sauce, oh. the chicken broth, the yeah. chipotle peppers, and adobo sauce. And then once it's done, we're going to sprinkle with cheese. This smells hot. My mouth is on fire. really hot. Thank you, Clint, so much for this water. I appreciate wow. it. Wow. Woo. Kelly, I just found a great way to clear your sinuses. <laughs> Breathe. Oh, <it>. yeah. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. Oh, yeah. So the only thing left to go on here is uh, cilantro, cilantro and, and cheese. cheese. You know but what's I, interesting to me? I'm surprised that it's so uh, liquidy. But I think maybe th these are supposed to cook longer and that. Full, full disclosure. Yeah. I think, mm -hmm. now, hindsight's twenty twenty. I know. We should have not added more olive oil because the grease from the meat is still in there. Agreed. Which made it runny. Agreed. But, full disclosure, TV time is supposed to simmer for 12 minutes, and we ain't got 12 minutes. Which would take some of the water yes. out. Yes. We ain't got yeah. that much time, Kel. Okay. Do we so wanna, I'm just going to let it simmer. Do we want to take some of the water out? I mean, just like this? Do we? Like this? Well, I don't know. That. And leave it when you scoop it out. You know what I'm saying? They just take the meatballs and then drizzle sauce. Okay, because um, this comes out really easy. But no, it's no, no. I, but I, I want that flavor. Oh, you want it all in there? I okay. want it all okay, in there. Okay, gotcha. I want the flavor. All right, to then. And by the way, I want to take home that can of. Uh, you are so welcome. There, that is all I'm you. I'm taking this home. You take that and put a little rice with that and enjoy. It's chipotles. Peppers in adobe and sauce. And adobo sauce. And adobo, not adobe. And uh, people were asking me during the commercial, hey, Jeremy, what's adobo? And I said, I have no idea. I don't know what adobo is. <laughs> um, okay, we just got word. This, Kelly, this just in breaking news. Yes. Adobo is a pepper. All right, now we know. And chipotle, this breaking news, adobo is It is a pepper. A pepper. Gotcha. Had no clue. All right. Guys, you know we are the breaking news source of the Ozarks, the Absolutely. show. Absolutely. If it's breaking, if it's yeah. hard hit, we've we got it covered. You're going to get it from us. I cannot. <laughs> <laughs> What's breaking is our faces right now because That's we're right. breathing in this Chipotle. Oh, my goodness, this is hot. <coughs> All right, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, when I eat this, I'm going to try to get rid of the sauce and just do the, 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 the meatball. meatball. Yeah. Um, I want to try to divide this time. How much time do we have left in the show in this dish in it? Okay, oh, we so should get at it. Here we go, Kel. Yeah. The rest of the cheese goes on? Because the meatballs are definitely cooked. I mean, yeah, they're, they're in there. They're, they're, they're a they're good to go. I'm going to add uh, some cheese. 
Okay. Oh, that looks so good. And I think this cheese will thicken up too. Yeah, I agree. Look, would you look, look at that? Look how pretty that is. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? I'm adding a lot of cheese co. That's gonna soak up the heat. And right then there. our final. That's all the cheese you're gonna add? Well, I'm gonna add some more to my plate. Oh, oh I wanted okay. the picture to look pretty. Oh, I know. And then we're gonna you. add a little, one more tablespoon of cilantro. All righty. Oh my goodness, look at that. Would That's so that? pretty. Look at it. Would you look at that? Okay. okay. Here's our final product, and I know Natalie's gonna get an overhead shot of this for yes. our side by side, which I think looks. Look at that. Oh, we yeah. need more cheese. I can put more cheese on it. I agree. But the cheese is melting into the sauce, is what I'm trying to say. Right. It like is. when I put it down, yeah. it will go in these holes. That, that's okay. That's like cheese sauce. Yeah, I'm going to add more to my plate, though. Is that okay? Oh, are you got out? You're about out. Okay, gotcha. Okay, let's well, serve it up. It's time to serve it up. Yeah. Serve it. Since I've got this big spoon, I'm going to serve it with that. Yes. Jeremy. Perfect. That's plenty for, to start. Thank you. Look at that cheesy sauce. Oh, see, that cheese is making it. Yeah. Sorry, Kel. No worries. Yes, there we go. You got it. I said I wanted to roll off my plate. Remember that meatball song, like on top of a smoky, all covered, all covered with, with cheese. cheese. I lost my poor meatball, meatball when, when somebody sneezed. Yes, oh, you remember that from? Yes, I remember that one. Skewel. Thank you. Um, I'm gonna let you go first, and let me oh, know look the, at you. the level of the heat. Okay. Now it's gonna be hot temperature-wise as oh, well. Oh, it is. Yeah. It just got fresh out of the. I'm just gonna break this up so that it can kind of cool a little bit. Now. I know. Kelly. What? There is a party in my mouth right is now. Is there really? Okay, look, that one meatball is not quite done, and I haven't touched any of this, so I'm going to put it right back in there. And this is the part that okay. I'm going well, to eat. Okay, well, if you want one that's more brown, like over that's there. That's all right. I'm going to start with this. Because to me, I didn't notice that. I'm just like, this is, this is like a fiesta in my mm. mouth. Mmm. It's not too hot. Mm-mm. It's not too hot. This is, guys, seriously so good. Mmm. Do you think I need to turn the heat back on to cook them the rest mm -hmm. of the way? Mm -hmm. Because I, mine are, mine look done. Like I was cutting into mine and I think they Maybe look done. Maybe that was just a big meatball. That is really delicious. Wow, who knew? Now here's the thing though. Do you think like authentic Italians like Joe Morano mm -hmm. would mm -hmm. say something like, you don't do Tex-Mex meatballs. That kind of sounds like something he might say. I think I can hear him in my head already just I saying too. that. But I'm to me, I'm like, this is south of the border delicious. Yeah. Well, I like Tex-Mex, I have to be honest. Mm. You know, we're used to that. I'm telling you, I feel so lucky to have been grown up in Texas yes. where Tex-Mex is the yeah. thing. The best, the best um, Mexican I ever ate was at, in Brownsville on the border of Texas mm. and Mexico. So good. The best Mexican <clears throat> I ever had was in Mexico. Oh! When I worked on the cruise ship, because we were in Cozumel, Cancun, Playa del Carmen all the time. Mm -hmm. And the, what we think of guacamole is not what they make of guacamole. And it's so like... How's it different? Do you it's like chunky. it? It's chunky. Oh. It's fresh, less extra things. It's just basically the avocado with the lime and the salt and the pepper and it's right. chunky. And it's just, it tastes so fresh. Like oh, I don't even I know yeah. what the difference is, but having uh, guacamole in Mexico, Yeah. I could eat it just with a spoon. With a spoon. That's oh, it. I could eat it with a spoon when we make it here, but I love it. And I love this dish. Okay, so Kelly, let's start with you. Let's okay. rate these Tex-Mex meatballs. Okay. This would be a an 11. <gasps> yeah, I like them. And I think as they sit, they're going to get better. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you, Miss Kelly. I also am going to give it a 20. Oh! <laughs> because I love Tex-Mex, <laughs> and I will be making this at home. Till next time, we, we are, are Dish It! Woo! So good.